Hello everyone. Welcome to Stilt video series. If you're a non-resident Indian and Indian citizen, you are required to enroll in the Aadhaar Yojana, which means you will have to get an Aadhaar card. However, you may have no idea how you can get this card and where to even start the process. So, how to get an Aadhaar card for NRI? Let's look into the matter and see how you can obtain your card as an NRI. What is an Aadhaar card? Aadhaar is a system that offers NRI's identification numbers. This individual identification number has 12 digits, and it is linked to the biometric data of the owner. Basically, this system serves as a replacement for all the other identification methods used by India in the past, which include ration cards or birth certificates. Otherwise, these documents would be at risk of being damaged, lost, and stolen. With the Aadhaar system, you can stop worrying about this. You will also have an Aadhaar card that will serve as your proof of identity, date of birth, and address. Why are Aadhaar cards important to NRIs? A while ago, the only ones who could get an Aadhaar card were Indian residents. An NRI could only get the card in a special situation. They had to reside in India for at least 182 days if they wanted to enroll in the Aadhaar system. But things changed in July 2019. The government made a new decision, and they released an intimation. This allowed NRIs to have much faster processing with Aadhaar on arrival. So, it was proposed by the new bill amendment that all NRIs will have an Aadhaar card issued by the Unique Identification Authority of India on arrival. Now, NRIs don't have to wait 182 days before they can get it. As long as they have an Indian passport on arrival, they will be able to enroll in the system. The NRI application is also the same as before, despite the fact that the time frame is shorter. Aadhaar cards are important to NRIs because it makes it easier for them to identify without having to carry different documents everywhere they go. But on top of that, these cards are important to NRIs because they also allow them to obtain a job in the government sector as soon as they get back. They will even be able to receive the social security schemes and government study schemes. How can an NRI get an Aadhaar card? To get an Aadhaar card as an NRI, you will have to go through a process with several steps. Basically, any person that resides in India is able to apply for this card. People are eligible as long as they are older than three years and are Indian residents. However, foreigners can apply as well, especially if they reside in India. It's important to be very careful if you want to obtain your card successfully. Here is how you can get your card as an NRI. 1. Gather all the documents First things first, you have to make sure you have all the required documents before you apply for your Aadhaar card. Some basic documents are necessary before enrolling in the Aadhaar Yojana. So, in order to be accepted by the UIDAI for your application, you need to make sure you have a school certificate, birth certificate, and photo ID proof. Apart from these documents, you also have to bring some documents proving your relationship to another country. After gathering them, the government officials will look over them to make sure they are valid and that you can use them to enroll in the Aadhaar system. 2. Set up an appointment after checking whether you have all the documents, it's time to book your appointment. You can do this both online or offline. To do it online, you'll have to go on the UIDAI website. Set up the appointment by picking the location and then giving the site your phone number. You can then book one of the appointment slots. If you're not in India yet, don't worry, you can book even before your arrival. As for offline bookings, you can go to one of the Aadhaar centers and set up your biometric appointment there. Keep in mind that the biometric appointment is a must and requires your physical presence, whether you booked online or offline. 3. Submitting the documents is the next part of the process. The documents will serve as identity proof. So, give your valid Indian passport, as it works as both proof of address and identity. If you don't have a valid Indian address proof, you can submit any of the other address proof documents that the UIDAI approves. 
Some other documents like a photocopy of your stamped visa will be required to prove the relationship you have with other countries. All these documents should be submitted in person when you go to the center. For attend your biometric appointment next, you have to go to the biometric data collection appointment. The data collected will include a scan of your irises, a scan of all your 10 fingers and a photograph. Once everything is done, you will only have to wait until your card is sent to your registered Indian address. Bear in mind that it may take up to 90 days for you to receive the card. The Adhar cards and Adhar card is a physical card, but you can also get a digital one. The Adhar is the digital version of the card, and it also serves as a valid address and identity proof. It will have the same details that your physical card does, and it can be very useful if you don't want to rely on the physical version at all times. To obtain the e-Adhar, you have to go through some steps. First of all, you should visit the official UIDAI website. Then, enter your 12-digit Adhar number if you received it. If you didn't get it yet, you can also use the enrollment number, as well as the date and time of your application. These will be present on your receipt. Afterward, make sure you click on the Get One-Time Passport tab. You should receive an OTP on your registered phone number for it, and then you will have to enter this OTP. Lastly, enter the first four letters of your name, as well as your birth year. This will give you access to a PDF file that has the e-Adhar you wanted. You can download it on your laptop or smartphone as you wish. Just make sure you have Adobe Reader installed to be able to open it. We hope this video has been helpful to you. At Stilt, we provide financial services for immigrants and the underserved. Subscribe to our channel and visit stilt.com for more details.